What is the Resident Evil goat head we see in the game's announcement trailer? Why there are so many goats in the game? What's up with the goats anyway? Yes friends, today we are talking Resident Evil goats and goat heads. Interesting, right? It is because my recent findings will blow your mind away and well, uh, I'm still shaking. Hello and welcome back Vlad here, War, your resident village Romanian guide with a new video that I think you will just love because everything you know about Resident Evil is about to change. Before we begin, a quick recap, two days ago I started my series of Resident Evil Village trailer breakdowns because the upcoming Resident Evil Village game is taking place in Romania and its location is actually quite close to me. You have the links in the description and I really really suggest you watch all of my videos especially if you wish to understand everything from Capcom's trailer. In the first video we have discussed the game location and yesterday I uploaded a video in which we have talked about the mystery symbol. Now that we know for sure what this means and why there is no fetus and no dead child in it, we will cover a new symbol that it is quite important for our game the goat head we can see in the trailer. Again, I suggest you watch both videos before this one. Good. Now a quick shout out to all of you guys for your support. This means all your likes, comments and subscriptions to my channel. Also for your support on social media. Thank you very, very, very much for this. Okay then, so let's begin with today's topic. The goat head and where we can spot it in the actual trailer. The first time we can see some goat skulls in the old man cabin on the right wall. Notice that they have no horns. Next, we can see another goat head on this woman's shield. And another one on this gate which is actually the same one since, well, uh, we can see the woman with the rapier in her hand. Next, we can see a goat in the village. This one is, well, uh, quite clear. Then we can see the profile of a old woman with a lot of horns on her head. And well, that's about it. So what is with the goat head? The goat head you see in the trailer signifies Bahomet. Are you ready to be blown away right now? Good, because the Umbrella Corporation is actually the Templar's warder. What? Yeah, and now for those of you who don't believe me, let's dissect the info. Let's start with the most obvious images. The Umbrella logo you know for so much time and the Templar's Order Cross. Yeah, when I discovered this, I actually dropped my cup of coffee. <laughs> let's go even further with this image showing a series of symbols. We will talk about them in a new video, but for our topic, Notice that the Umbrella Corporation logo is in the middle, while the symbols form a cross. But not any cross, the Templar's cross. Now, let's get back to our goat head, which we know that it signifies Bahomet. Why is the head on this woman's shield? Because this woman is a Templar, and Bahomet is the deity that the Knights Templars were accused of worshipping. But there is way more than that, especially on this gate over here. The woman you see on the gate is fighting a demon, but this is not a regular fight. This is something way more powerful because the gate itself shows the battle between forces of heaven and hell. Notice the hands on the side pointing up, just like the poor souls in hell. Now let's zoom in a bit to spot the people that are actually falling into spears. Yes, they are impaled. Impaled by Vlad the Impaler, you all know as Dracula. And the one whose name I carry. <laughs> are you amazed yet? Great, because I have more for you. The goat head you see, das Bahomet, it is associated with the Sabbatic goat and Eliphas Levi also asso associated this uh, Bahomet with the evil in the early tarot card game. Good, let's back backtrack a bit now. Do you remember yesterday's video when we debunked the existence of a fetus aka dead, ba dead baby from the mysterious sign? Well, if you watched it, then you already we already talked about all elements in the strange symbol. 
It is not a fetus, but a mandrake root. The position of the wings signifies truth from the tarot card game. The wings come from crows. And now the cherry on the cake, the goat head, Bahomet, or Levis the devil tarot card. So, how do I know all this? <laughs> well, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am from Romania and everything you see in Capcom's trailer is based on, on my country's folklore. A little research reveals that what I believe to be the most important secret in the Re Resident Evil franchise, the connection between the Knights Templars and Umbrella Corporation, something that was so, so obvious. Okay, I know that it, it is a lot of info to dig, but let's get back to Bahomet. In the trailer, we can see a lot of horns, we can spot the old witch, and we can see the mysterious object. What we are looking at is the Witch's Sabbath, a celebration held by witches to honor Bahomet. Hence, and this goes for everyone still believing that the object in the middle is the symbol of a fetus. What you are seeing right now is not only a sign, but a wrath. We have the mandrake root that was used by witches from my country to communicate with the dead and is believed to give the ability to fly. We have already discussed it yesterday. We have the crow wings, which are also connected with the wings of Bahomet. Then we have the round circle in the middle, which I kind of forgot to mention in my previous video. This ring is the upper part of a sewing machine from Romania. Old woman used it to create balls of yarn, and in this symbol it is used to keep all the elements connected, just like the threads from the ball yarn. Okay, oh, so the gate we are looking at right now is something that nobody expected seeing. What is behind that? I have some ideas, but I will not go that far into making assumptions I cannot explain. What I can explain though are the Romanian folklore elements because they are from my country. Does this make sense to you now? If it does, does I want to hear each and every opinion in the comment section below. Also, helping me spreading the word by sharing this groundbreaking discovery would mean a lot to me as well as your likes. Finally, keep in mind that my trip to the actual Resident Evil Village Castle is still going to happen and if you want to join me, all you have to do is to subscribe to my channel and I'll let you know when I'm going to take that trip. Oh, okay, that's it for now because I need to put, my, to put order in my thoughts since, well, everything I knew about Resident Evil is about to change drastically. Phew! Okay, stay safe guys.